Hi guys and welcome back to the channel. In today's video we are going to be playing some 10 vs 10 shipment. As if shipment wasn't already crazy enough, they added a 10 vs 10 mode. I'm not sure if they've already done this, I'm pretty sure they haven't, I could be wrong. But all I know, it's absolutely insane, so so hectic and we're going to hop straight into a game right now. But before we do hop into a game, if you are new around here, make sure you guys are hitting that subscribe button and smashing a like if you do enjoy this video. And make sure you do have bell notifications turned on so you don't miss out on another video I do upload. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Where links for both of them are in the description below. Anyway, on to the gameplay. Okay, guys, we are on shipment. 10 versus 10, domination. This is absolutely the most hectic game mode you can ever, ever experience. As if this map wasn't already broken enough, this mode it just makes it 10 times worse. It's so much fun, so much potential for so many kills. Uh, I'm using the M4A1, I've switched up the setup on my M4A1 and I'm actually going to be doing a video covering this class setup. It essentially turns the M4A1 into an SMG. Uh, I'll not go into too much because I don't want to ruin that video, but honestly this gun is insane. Especially up close, you should be very surprised of how actual, how much it actually changes this weapon. But anyway, enough of that, I don't want to talk about that too much. Uh, what I want to talk about as well is um, that my journey on YouTube, whatever you want to call it, the time on YouTube. I've uh, I just had this channel two years now, just the other week, like last week week I didn't even realize I was just looking through my uh, channel analytics and I'm, as I'm sitting in this crate killing people uh, that kid's got to be mad spawning in front of me but I've been on YouTube two years now I think it was the 3rd of May is when I created my channel I'm not sure when I uploaded my first video and well, this kid's popping with this uh, Mark II carbine I just wanted to watch that because I didn't know where he killed me from I was looking back at some old videos to be fair uh, the growth hasn't been enormous in the last two years, uh, I'll be honest, but everybody that has subscribed, it has been so much to me. In fact, it is enormous to me. Uh, a lot of people aren't, probably might not see it like that, but to me it is enormous. Over a thousand people subscribe to the channel. It's a lot of people, if you think about it. A thousand people, well, 1,200 people and 47 to be exact. That is just so many people and that some people actually watched my video and thought, wow, I kind of like this guy, I want to see more and subscribed or liked the video. To me, that means a lot. It uh, definitely is a really, really nice feeling. Uh, it's something I never thought would happen. When I first started, I was just doing uh, the odd Fortnite video when Fortnite was absolutely at its peak and I mean it still is probably one of the most popular games and will continue to be one of the most popular games but when I started it was when everybody played Fortnite it was season 3 in Fortnite to be exact I used to use a laptop uh, that the screen was smashed on it like this, it was just a really old one that I dug out the screen was actually smashed and I used to have to plug it into my TV to get the screen on uh, it was super super ghetto um, I don't even know how I made it work uh, but I did and we, I did. I used it for a very very long time probably the first year to be honest uh, I made it work and I'd sometimes uh, it felt like oh I need to really up the game here because the editing was very very basic I used to just edit the video on the Elgato software itself which is if you are starting out it is a very good way but obviously there's no special effects no music you can add you can literally just cut out bits of the video and even still there was very long pauses of me not talking or umming and ahhing like um, 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 which I still do today uh, and sometimes editing them can be a pain uh, it can take make the editing process twice as long and everyone's pushing me in this crate I've got a Wilson um, it can make the editing process wow just twice as long um, which you know it can be a pain but at the end product when there's no uh, um, and breaks in the video it makes a huge difference you'll be surprised probably a difference you wouldn't really notice and I can't even call the wheels in, in here wow let's call this him you wouldn't really notice until you do it yourself and I'm, I'm erring now as I start speaking about it which is just something I do I think it's something I'll always do uh, it's just a pain to edit it out but at the end of it when it's all done and it comes together and you watch the video edited you know the final product it is super satisfying we are going on a tear with this Wilson right now oh my days are all here wow that literally a whole it's not the whole team no it can't be the whole team five multi wow let's call this oh my god spawning in front of me as well and there's a triple C4 wow honestly this game mode is so much fun it's so hectic I need to call this VTOL in to be fair Back to what I was saying, the difference from the video I would first make to now is huge and when it comes to editing like I said I would send the video uh, to my girlfriend's laptop as she had a Mac and I would edit it there. Just uh, It was only on the Minecraft videos I was doing at the time and it made a huge difference and I really enjoyed it and that's what I went ahead and got eventually, the same one and that's what I use today. 
I use iMovie at the minute, but I'm trying to transition to Premiere Pro at the minute, just because it is a little bit better, well it's a lot better than iMovie. iMovie is still pretty basic, but you can add the little like special effects and obviously music in the background and stuff like that to make it a little bit more interesting. But I still have all the old ones on the channel, I'm probably going to private them soon. Uh, just because if someone stumbles upon one of them videos uh, before any of my newer stuff they're probably gonna think this is awful and then not go ahead and you know subscribe and realize that the content I'm putting out now uh, isn't as good as good quality content it's just obviously very basic and very poor another big thing I didn't realize as well was how important thumbnails can be uh, at first I would literally just have a screenshot from the video um, as the thumbnail it would just be something random because YouTube automatically generates them and then after that I would go on uh, after I decided not to do that I'd go into Google and let's just say I did a video yesterday's video on uh, demolition I would search in Google demolition and it become like a screenshot from a demolition game let's say and I would use that as well and it literally makes it so much worse for yourself because Thumbnails, if you're, let's say for example you're searching for YouTube and your thumbnails are, you see a thumbnail and it's awful, uh, it doesn't matter how good the video is going to be, you're just not going to get that, no one's going to click on it, because uh, it just looks awful from the get go before they even watch the video. So making sure I could do thumbnails and stuff was something that took me ages to learn, and I'm still getting better out of it, I don't think they're still great, but I do think they've improved a lot, and uh, Mozza who comments on my videos a lot, obviously he's a great guy, he commented yesterday saying, um, that he liked the thumbnail, it, it did really, really uh, make me feel good about it because I was putting in a load of work some recently. And I'm trying to improve them massively, uh, so definitely getting better on that front. And editing is where I need to improve as well. So it's still improving, but two, in the last two years of starting this, uh, it really has uh, got a massive improvement. And I hope we can excel and just go a little bit further, and hopefully we can, you know, take the channel to the next level. That's my hope for the uh, end of the year, just to, well not to the end of the year, for the end of the year I think my goal would be, I'm going to set a realistic goal of 1,500, so that's 300 more, so well 250 more subscribers by the end of the year. You know, I'll set a low goal first uh, and then just keep setting these little low goals, because as you achieve them it motivates you more, whereas I could set, let's say, if, oh I'm going to get 5,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and I don't hit that goal, which I doubt I would right now, it would just demotivate me so much and I've been demotivated. Um, a lot of the time in the last two years as well because there has been bits where like nobody was bothered, like, I wasn't getting any uh, kind of support or just even views um, and it is demotivating, really is, but you keep pu I just kept pushing on and uh, just kept making them and I always will. Obviously I know we're still not, uh, we're not massive or anything like that but just the people that are here right now, the thousand subscribers that I do have, I'm very grateful and that's why I just wanted to make this because Obviously, it still, it still matters to me. It doesn't matter whether we've got 100, 200, 300, 1,000, or 100,000 subscribers eventually. As we've got to defeat there, 94 kills, everything matters, all important to me, and I'm so grateful for where we are right now in the last two years. Okay, guys, we're back in the lobby. I hope you guys did enjoy this little bit of a different type of video, a bit of a little story time, if you will. But thank you guys ever so much for watching. If you guys are new around here, make sure you do hit that subscribe button and make sure you are smashing a like on the video. Make sure you follow me on my Instagram and my Twitter. Links for both of them are in the description below. Thank you guys ever so much for watching. I hope to catch you guys in the next one. Peace.